Okay, I'm live, and it's supposed to be jelly too. The plate, I mean, the thing in the right here will be, they're both blue. The first one was green and blue. Okay, yeah, let's try this again. I've got to get it up on my phone. There it is. All right. Dang, I hate it when that happens. So when did you guys drop off? I hope everybody finds us. I showed you my book. Hey, card chick. Well, we just had a bad buffer. But you couldn't hear me, could you, Lisa? Thanks, by the way, for sending the message. The tweet will work, too. I've got tweet notifications turned on. I spend way too much time over there. Okay. Now, I don't know what y'all heard. Um, I told you that I was using the Delusions paint in the Dino Wakely Media Journal since I've had it so long. The colors are so intense that I've tried to tone them down with white. And I'm going to play with a few other things here. I decided there's no reason why this these, as a start, can't look like my frescoes that I was doing on Tuesday. I got some burlap texture. That's cool. That See how intense that is? I didn't put any white on that. Woo, that one's pretty intense. That one's not. I decided to leave some blank. I'm going to use these up because I want to... I want the drawer they're in. Oh, yeah, I was talking to Azure about, she said she couldn't afford it. <clears throat> there are ways, I can tell you almost any art supply, in the, like the watercolors, oils, pastels, um, I'm not sure there is a way to save money in mixed media. I got my distress oxides out to see if we could do something with them. Lord knows I had to have them all, so by God, we're going to use them. I'm not, I don't have them all, but. And the brush is, I got these when Zandra got them first. They're by Kedsum, K-E-D-S-U-M. And I think I got them for under $10 maybe on Amazon. But I looked just before we went live a few minutes ago and they're not on Amazon anymore. But if you do Kedsum makeup brush set, you'll see several of them pop up. And I saw Lindsay the other day, Lindsay Warwick, do a test of this compared to other blending tools like the, the felt pieces and, and all that. <clears throat> and these have a flex, a little flex in it. But um, anyway, that's what they are. I haven't used them. But um, she got real good results. So, there you go. Use it or lose it. Okay, Pink Rose, hello. Joycey, Joycey, Azure. Now, y'all know that I'm 
a big fan of Robin McClendon's. She's been using distress oxides for some strange ways that you wouldn't. You wouldn't ordinarily think of doing. And she's taking them on plain paper and then just really rubbing it into the paper. But I've got to do something to tone down these colors. May take more ink than, than I want to put on this. Although I do have the re-anchors. I hate buying stuff that you have to have something else and maybe four years down the road you run out of what it came with and you're stuck. You love a certain color on distress and you can't get it anymore. Hey, Shauna. You about to get settled? So that's a cool gray. Let's put a little pumice stone on there. I wish I had a fairy godmother. I want some. Um, Stazon has a new line of colors that are gorgeous. They come in a little cloverleaf style pad. Cloverleaf. I think the cutouts are on the sides. I'm not sure. And because I can't stand it, I want to see if after you, I wonder where my black sprayer is. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, oh, well, it may have fallen down into the deep hole. It does tone down the color quite a bit. I'm sorry about these paints. But since they're drying up, I don't have to be sorry very long. Um... Let's see, Joycey, were you the one that said, yeah, rub them in? I haven't seen that anywhere, but with Robin, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but. I'm going to use these chalk paste pastes. Hi, Jacqueline. And I've got some little stencils here from the other day. I'm just going to
Okay, and then wipe it off like a good girl. What would we what did we do before baby wipes? That's what I want to know. See, I think that I think the distress is going to make a pretty good save. So let's just, of course, some of this paper is just going to soak it right up. And it's going to behave. Remember, this is the book where everything in it is different. Not as dark when I did when I don't plop it on there all at once. I can't tell if I got any oxidation or not. For those of you who came in late, I'm trying to use my Delusions paints because they are not lasting. They're drying out on me. And the colors are so bright. So I decided I would take this Delusions journal And just use it. Scary thought, isn't it? Don't do that. Since that's a spread, I'm going to use the same. This is Shabby Shutters. Brush that off on my apron. Good. Where did that paint come from? Must have been something from the other day. Oh, well, you never know what you're going to get. Hi, Pink Bros. Um, add water to make it oxidize. All right, I'm going to dry it a little bit.
I really like these chalk paste. I don't know that there are any huge difference from others, but the pink was coming from the pan pastels I used the other day. Very nice, very nice. Now what? Don't have any coffee. Um, they're handy. I like them. And holding them like this is very comfortable. And I like the fact that um, she said they didn't they didn't hold a whole lot of the color. It's not taking a whole it's not sucking up a lot that's what i'm trying to say well i think the foam ones do and i'm i'm real leery of marketing <laughs> since that's what i did for a living um speaking of pan pastels i didn't put mine up the other day because i didn't think i was through with them these are the shimmery ones It's not hurt anything. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. It's really glimmery, but just so subtle. See that? There. Isn't that pretty? So, with that in mind, Jelly Jelly, who's got the jelly? Let's play with my new one. This is the five by seven. I guess I thought I was wiping off on the plate itself. See how that just clings to the jelly on a clean plate, that is. I'm using a jelly tool here. Now remember from Tuesday, the uh, beauty of using the plate with the pastels is that the pastels last for three or four pulls. Isn't that pretty? And so let's go to Patty Tolly Parish. And let's get some of. You think she really cares if you use the right side? Color, what color? Let's just stick to the green. I think I'm going to use glazing medium. 
I'm not ready to cover up a bunch of the paint on the background yet. So the basic nature of the plate is that it soaks up. It really adheres the pen pastel. to the plate. You can't really see her. It's just the fault of the color that I used. Yep. Turn off white. Look at white sparkle right here. I can use that. You never know until you try. Got a shadow. Well, come on, new plate it is. <coughs> Excuse me. can't really tell what she is so this so why did it work yeah you can't tell what it is but, you know, we're just building layers, so. Yeah, I did watch Lindsay the other night with her. These are looking better to me than they did. And we know that this stuff showed up. I can see part of her body. Okay, I don't see any oxidation, so what should I do? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm figuring things out. And you remember the other day now. I mean, that's pretty much the same, but it was also crinkled paper, so yeah, I'm just playing. But you are right. You're always right. Said in the nicest possible way. There. 
You can kind of see her better. So yes, that works. I don't want modeling paste on every page. Here's the, the white. Blip that I got the other day. It's an inexpensive paint. An inexpensive means that it's going to be a little thinner. It's all about layers, right? I think Xandra was the first place I saw these brushes before her surgery, so it's been a while. See this black, chunky, coarse? doesn't come across as black it just kind of comes across as a sparkle isn't that neat and it's gray like a charcoal gray hey Beck oh that's cool Azure no you don't have to activate sure wish I could find my other sprayer I like that little symbol. I'm going to play with this just a little bit, a few more minutes. Lord knows I've got stencils to choose from. I wonder, Joycey, if rubbing it in changes some of the propensity of it to, um, uh, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, to um, activate. I don't know, but I sure like the way that's looking. Do not let me buy Delusions paints again. 
fall in love with them. Do not let me do that. I don't want modeling paste on every page. That wasn't a good idea. No, that doesn't work. Let's go back to white. Nope, that didn't show either. Could have something to do with the um, mica. I had the white one out. I guess I don't. All right. Then we'll go over here to this little pink. It's like somebody has gotten their fingerprints in this one. <laughs> I mean, nail prints. It's got a few chunks out of it. Okay, just a little something, something. You can see them if you're at the right angle. Not too shabby. This is the canvas. And this is, it's got a canvas texture, so I guess those two pages must be, must be canvas. Now that's where we started. I'm looking at my oxides. What's going to hit me? Scattered straw. And what else? And yeah, I said that scatter straw. Spram. Remember, if y'all really want me, put it in caps.
Thank you, card check. Hey, River. Joyce, did you skip your stream this morning? Now remember, this isn't perfection we're after here. We're after seeing what our products will do, and I, for one, don't do enough of that. Okay, I just wet it. Let's see if it does anything. Dry, 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 dry. Hey, Kimberly. Ooh, touch the snake. All right. Uh, I think it was blacks and pearl. In the pan pastels, Azure, is that what you're saying? I can tell you real quick. This is coarse black pearl medium. Is that what it says? Yeah, 014. Come on. I don't think you can see it. I don't see any oxides. Now we'll get it. We'll get some of this. You got to wait and see. Wait. What are you doing? I wonder what you meant to do. I lost my train completely. If I use this and use white, then I would want to use, I guess, a sponge. Oh, I forgot. Perfect. Just a little bit. It's almost sacrilege to give me a new plate. I'm going to move over here to something we haven't messed with yet.
No, it's just texture. Just texture. That's kind of pretty. This is that Brea Reese that I've been babying to make it come back. I don't think I've succeeded. I think this was probably dry when I got it. We'll see. It's okay. These um, stencils are Patty Tolly Parish, and they're available at iStencil.com. We need to support our friendly artists. We need more water in there, don't I? That part of it. Here. Y'all make me nervous. Do you know that? Joycey always saves the day. There. All right, Miss Bria. Spray you full of water. Tuck that baby wipe back in there. And put you upside down for a while. I need my... Let's see. I don't see an S on the left. And that, that may have been on another page. Wow, Kimberly, good thing. I hope you're not allergic. I don't know. I, I just think I'm thinking more about talking than, than creating. I don't know, but I'm liking this. The uh, Distress Inks are doing it for me. Not that these would be finished. I can always come back in and um, add a little collage or whatever. Here's another one of the deck arts that I salvaged. That came up really good. Now these aren't, this isn't going to show very well on the burlap. another product that I've had sitting on my shelf and I'm a helping artist or in that helping artist program for deco deco art
And it's real nice too that I'm getting up underneath the stencil. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to put your finger in some of these, but. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't show up very much, but you never know till you try. You can see a little. I'm going to leave the burlap ones for now. Okay. I'm really wanting to try. So I'm just going to do it. It doesn't matter. Pick the raspberry. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in ages since I went on my hiatus from buying stuff, except for the Duke Blick order I got last week. Oh, and the green leaf and blueberry. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't want it all pink. I have a, I'm glad I did this today. This is what I love when you rub it in and you've had some white paint down. It's almost like the color goes down around the white. I'm not seeing it so much right there. On every second Wednesday, <laughs> the third month of the year, you can do something that actually does what you say it's going to do. <laughs> Otherwise, you never know what you're going to get. 
I bought these bright colors just because I'm a I want them all fan. I've always been that way. It doesn't matter what I'm working on. I want them all. Been that way my whole life. I don't know why. I wasn't happy with just a little box of crayons. I wanted the whole thing. Didn't always get them. But. Let me look back over here. See how that um, inexpensive craft paint works? It's it's almost like a watered down gesso. So yes, Virginia, there is a place for craft paint. You know, I've still got my silk screens here. If I do this, though, I'll have to... Oh, you know what? A baby wipe might do it. Let's see. That's not right. You need car key. <laughs> These bottles are so hard. I'm making a mess. Chili plates are a wonderful thing. And had I used enough paint, and um, Now let's go to another page and do it right this time. Now hold my beer and watch this shit. Still didn't do it right, but better. I'm going to go throw this in. Eh, what am I going to do? I'm going to get another baby wipe.
Anything that saves going to the sink is a winner. I believe that that will keep it. We'll see. We got a little bit of it there. It's cool. All right. If I want to gray that down, I could go with let's, let's see. Let's if that's not dry. Loosey goosey. Another reason it didn't work, it was on the canvas. Let's see. Now, a little. Back in the pan pastels. Move. I don't think I used the soft tool the other day. I think I was using something else. I like it. Very subtle, but it worked. When this is canvas, I got no wait. I'm not sure what that is. It's got a canvas texture. Okay. I don't need a damn thing. I don't need any of the 
markers. Um, no, this is this is a combination of a cleanup print with white and the pan pastels I had on the silk screen from the other day. And then I laid it back on top and tried to put some pan pastels through it. So <clears throat> now we're going to see. I'm not a bright in your face color person. I'm a colorist. I like color, but I tend to like a lighter value. This is very subtle. Before I do this again, I'm going to find my other good water bottle. Could have done this first, huh? Nah. Where would be the fun in that? I didn't remove it. Of course, part of that is uh, white from the craft paint. Right there. I always say I'm not much of an experimenter. I'd rather watch one of y'all tackle it first. Kind of see it, kind of not. I think that's dry. Thank you. Hey, Z. Uh-oh, you're driving and shopping. Where did you find them for $3? I think I got them at Joggles when they were having a special. Okay, now this is the canvas. Yeah, I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can get my white back. It's the wetter, the wetter one.
Well, there you are. See if we get any oxidized. I don't think we will on the canvas. Y'all see any here? I like. Excuse me. Can you see how the ink went down into the paper behind the acrylic? It's kind of a nice look. I can live with this. I can. I can live with these colors. I have. Something just causing all kinds of shadow here. Oh, well, y'all know me. Well, this is a productive day for me. I'm tickled. See, here's one of the pages you missed. Look. See the little Patty Tolly Parish thing? Just some pen pastel modeling paste. And we did a <coughs> We did a flower there too. That may be the one I silk screened or tried to silk screen. So let's, oh, then I put the pink in the, I guess it was the furry burlap. Well, you're going to get some more. I think it was pumice, but this pumice stone is without a doubt one of the best colors in my humble opinion. Get it good and wet. Why don't you? We'll see. Hey, pig. I got up early this morning and um, was able to catch all of Peg and Shell's show. I want to see some oxidation. Maybe getting some over here. Bring back the white. And this is the wet wipe that I wiped off the white. <laughs> ah! Wipe the white paint off of the silk screen wet. So it's white.
there. Not too shabby. I think it's time for one of those um, one of those little symbols. Oh, that is just yummy. Come on, there it is. I like that. Um, pictographs. This one, <laughs> the moon in the maker. I don't see her now. Oh, there it is. Trinity. Okay. Well, I knew, know something new. Pretty cool. What else do I want to do? What did we do before makeup sponges? Always forget to dab. I explained earlier that this this is blit flat mat. I mean any any inexpensive craft paint will work for this. But because it is inexpensive, it's got more filler than pigment. And it will um, almost look like watered down gesso. Just almost a ghost. And a ghost it is. That's okay. I don't like in your face. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'll figure out something. Okay, so I'm really liking the the distress oxides. Oh boy. It's 530. Let's go ahead. Do work on one more. I need a pool, don't I? Let's do hickory smack. And...
don't think this will show up much, which is probably going to be a good thing. Tattered rose. Hmm. Very, very bent. Tell you what, this uh, putting these uh, distress oxides on here like this sure does. Tone down those paint colors. In fact, I'm really liking this. Isn't that amazing? Now, see if we can get any oxidized there. Ooh, that's pretty. Look. Y'all can't see the real color, though. It's got some real nice blues and greens in there. Z's question. Um, that's their um, shimmery line. And several of them are meant to be used as a medium, like this black one with the that I was using. They're to be used in conjunction with the plain pastels. That's why they're calling it a medium. And this one is white coarse pearl medium. So they're calling these four in the middle mediums to be to help alter a plain one. And then these are just shimmery colors. And I think I think they've added a gold and a silver since I got these. But I love that coarse black one. All right. Um, these are the stencil brushes that um, I saw them first when Xander had them. May have even been a year ago. Um, and then Leslie Wyatt tested them the other day with the sponge and the foam applicators. And this one really came out pretty good. Now, I don't see any oxidation and maybe that's just the colors I picked I think I'm gonna quit I've been in here since one o'clock today but I got quite a bit done getting rid of the delusions paint I just love the way the white just kind of is there, but you don't really see it. Mm, 
Yeah, Peg, I did. I, I buy most of my stuff as sets. Yeah, I saw Peg now. Yeah, I don't are there is a set on Amazon. I bought this set, my main set, the year they introduced them at the Pastel Society Convention uh, in 2005. And I knew immediately it was going to be fun to play with, even though I don't like doing real pastel paintings with them. I told you all about that the other day. Because I like um, stick pastels because I can get my marks. And these tend to obliterate whatever's under. That's just cool. It looks like whitewash is peeled off. Old walls. All right, guys. That's some that's a cool day. I'm glad y'all joined me. I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Because I had my idea journal sitting right here ready to go. These are the um, chalk paste. Hey, Dot. I hope your internet's working better. Again, on those pastels, I bet they are sets. They came, those came out all at the same time. Cool. I am tickled with the sprays, even if I don't see any oxidized. All right, guys. Thank you, Jill. I didn't see you come in. Branson, gosh, appreciate you guys coming by. I try to catch you guys anytime I can. There's so many of us now, it's hard to... It's, it's a little difficult to do. But thanks to he he headphones... I can listen to one in my cozy chair. Joyzy, I think, is the one that coined that. Baby wipes are wonderful. I, I started trying to clean up in here because Randy said I was getting little paint things in the ice ice maker bucket on all the light switches ten pack that would be it six seven eight nine ten and then what about the gold and silver Okie doke. I could sit here all night, but I'm not going to. Bye. See y'all later. Um, if I don't do a pop-up, I will see you next Tuesday at 4. Thank you again for showing up.